having a good time out there. All right, welcome to episode number five from chapter four, and this episode is really important because we're going over the different types of symbiosis, all right? Uh, There's going to be a ton of pop-ups on this one. Make sure you pay attention to them, and I'll probably toss in some video clips too. So so I'm going to cover this one slide, but we're going to spend a lot of time on this one. So without further ado, let's get down to business. If we're going to talk about symbiosis, we better have a definition for it. Symbiosis is a very close living relationship between two different species. And at least one of those species is going to derive a benefit from it. Now, there are three types of symbiosis. The first one is called mutualism. Uh, In this one, both species benefit. So I want you to think about... Uh, such as plants and their pollinators. And I want to think about humans and intestinal bacteria. All right. Um, When we get to plants and their pollinators, think of the bees. The bees are going to get nectar from the plant, so they're getting food, and the plant is getting a basically a delivery system to get pollen from one flower to another to help the plants reproduce. And far as us uh, with humans and our intestinal bacteria, Um, We give the bacteria a home and some food, and in return, they help us um, break down some of our food, and they produce a vitamin called vitamin K. All right. Okay, a third example of mutualism that I haven't put on our our notes here is a cleaning station on a reef, um, on a coral reef in the ocean. Um, Some larger fish will come up to this cleaning station and some smaller fish will swim around them, pick off any parasites and, and algae that's growing on them. And sometimes the fish may even open up their mouths and the fish will move into their gills and clean off any kind of parasites in that. Okay, So that's a mutualistic because the one fish gets cleaned and then the other fish gets food. All right, Really neat adaptation. Uh, the second type of symbiosis is called commensalism. In commensalism, one species gets a benefit and the other species is barely even bothered. And some examples of that would be the barnacles on whales. Uh, You'll see these on some humpback whales and some other whales, the the big white clumps on the front of them, sometimes on the the front part of their flukes. Uh, The barnacles attach themselves to the whale, doesn't really bother the whale at all, and as the whale is moving through the ocean, the barnacle is being moved around to a food source, and so it's got a constant supply of food around them. So that's the benefit to that one. Okay, another one would be the remoras that you would find on a shark. Um, These would be the fish that you'd find on the bottom half of a a shark, sometimes on the top half too. And what happens is, it's kind of like the barnacles. uh, As the shark is moving around and it finds some prey, there's basically going to be some crumbs that fall off, and the remora is going to be able to get some of the scraps. Now, remoras are pretty cool. On the top of their head, they pretty much have a suction cup so they can just kind of pop on to the, to the shark there and just, for the most part, get a free ride. All right, and the third and final part of or example of symbiosis is <laughs> parasitism. And remember the word parasite. Now, um, comes from this. One species benefits and the other is harmed. So, I want you to think of tapeworms, ticks, fleas, mosquitoes, etc., cetera, uh, where they are essentially feeding off the other organism. And so they have a, a close relationship, but the one's being harmed. So, for example, like with human beings, when the mosquito he gets on you, it's essentially feeding off your blood. Ticks do the same thing with animals, fleas, etc., and then tapeworms, which will embed themselves in your intestine and take some of your nutrients away. All right? Okay. That's going to end this episode. So make sure you study this one. Notice there, excuse me, notice there's a ton of colored uh, words on this screen. Make sure you know these because I guarantee they're going to show up on a test or a quiz. So until the next time, we're going to catch you on that flip side.